What's up YouTube, Dean Lexer Day here to talk about the end of Cortana within Halo 6. Now we know at the end of Halo 5 there's a cliffhanger, you know, we figure out Cortana's evil, she tries to imprison Master Chief and his comrades for Cortana to create a whole new uh, advanced civilization, which is quite interesting. Some people aren't liking the look of Cortana in Halo 5, but that's a whole discussion for another day. But yeah, having to kill off Cortana in Halo 6, I think that's going to be a really epic moment. Hopefully 3 or 3 can deliver on this, I don't know if, we're, if I know this, it's gonna be like an emotional pull between Master Chief and Cortana facing off against one another, but it's definitely gonna be an interesting showdown. I'm interesting to see how Cortana's character will evolve in Halo 6, being this ultimate bad guy. You know, she she was once our comrade throughout all the previous Halo games, and now she's becoming this ultimate villain, this ultimate badass. Makes me wonder if she's gonna create some new enemies to help fight against Master Chief and the other characters within. The Halo series, or you know, uh, what's gonna happen in the end? Will Miss Master Chief be the one to pull the trigger to, to end Cortana? Because you know, Master Chief's got a little thing for Cortana. We all know that. You know, he's been dreaming about her. You know, he wants to get it in, but you know, unfortunately, she's just an AI. But now she's a physical human being. She's pretty much like a god. She's able to control the Prometheans and whatnot. So this is really interesting. I would like to know what you guys think in the comments section down below about Cortana in Halo Six, and like, how do you think? Uh, how do you think she's going to evolve as a character? What, what do you think is going to happen to her in the end? Is, or do you think Master Chief is going to be able to bring her back to the good side, or is it going to, or is Master Chief going to deliver the final blow? This is definitely going to be an interesting one. Hopefully, we get some more information on that as time passes. Halo Six probably won't come out in like what 2018, 2017. So we still got a lot of time between Halo Five and Halo Six to understand like how, what's going down. So. I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad Cortana's a villain, actually. It kind of does make sense, you know. I think after Halo 4, she realized, you know, humanity and the rest of the galaxy just, they're just unbalanced. And, he's, and I guess she's trying to make the perfect civilization amongst the galaxy. So this is going to be really cool to see how this all plays out. Uh, Halo 5 definitely wasn't the strongest campaign in the Halo series, but maybe Halo 6 can turn that around. I hope so. Because honestly, the Halo 5 campaign is just. It feels forgettable at times, honestly. There's a few cool moments in there, like Master Chief versus Agent Locke, and uh, fighting against the War Eternal. But then again, you fight against the War Eternal like so many times. It's so annoying, and the cu I mean the cutscenes are fantastic, but some of the missions in Halo Five just it's just underperformed. And honestly, I would love to see Halo Six like just go over the top. I don't know how many Halo other Halo games are gonna make after Halo Six, but just since this is the the the, the final game in the third trilogy in the second trilogy. You guys gotta go off the bang honestly because i want i want cortana to be the most threatening villain yet in the halo series so we'll have to see what what happens what 343 does in the coming events of halo 6 because I, I think we're probably gonna be it'd be cool seeing like a team up between the arbiter master chief agent lock and maybe some other one other spartan that'd be really nice so yeah i'm looking forward to this in the halo 6 hopefully you know everything you know comes together full circle and hopefully Cortana is actually a threat in this game, not just someone that's always talking, blah, blah, blah. I want to see some action. I want her to, like, manipulate, I don't want to say time, but, but the objects around her and uh, maybe evolve to something even more than what she is, which is going to be kind of hard to do, seeing, you know, they're going to got to put in the, all the pieces together, with the connecting with the forerunners and whatnot. So I'm looking forward to this uh epic uh, conclusion to this new Halo to the Reclaimer trilogy so let me just in the comments just down below about the end of Cortana in Halo 6 let's grab more content on Halo and other games in general on Demolex I'll see you in the future